In this video, I'm going to show you how to make jump scares for your games in Roblox Studio, which is really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started since it's October, the spooky season, and Halloween is coming up. I would do this video, so go ahead and grab a part, name it the jump scare trigger. You can name it whatever you want, though, for this part. And is this going to be something that the players walk on top of, so it'll cause a jump scare. So go to the start GUI and insert a screen GUI. And then in that, you want to go ahead and insert an image label. And then screen GUI, you want to call that the jump scare. You need to call it that so the script works. So I changed the name of the image label to images because I can. And then in properties of the image, I one two one zero one zero so that way it fills up the whole screen pretty much and it looks like that that's where the jump scare is going to be for a limited amount of time where i'll scare the player and make them pee their pants so you want to go ahead and go to creator marketplace you want to go ahead and go to images and find a jump scare or you can go ahead and just upload your own to roblox studio if you want to and then you want to go ahead and copy the number in the link up above and once you get back into roblox studio we're gonna go ahead and go to the properties of the image and go to image and then just go ahead and paste it in it should change it like that and yeah it's pretty spooky that's too scary because it's just a tutorial but pretty scary and then go ahead and disable the thing of the gui so it doesn't show up as we're working on it so after the gui you want to go ahead and insert a script to the jump scare trigger it's going to be called the jump scare script you can go ahead and copy this if you want to but if you want to save yourself the headache you can go ahead and get the model linked in the description which will include everything i did in this video the jump scare trigger pad the jump scare u gui and it has instructions on how this is easily set that up i'll be a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and get that unless you want to go ahead and just copy the script you can but if you get the link to the model in the description below you guys go ahead and just easily get that model and then make it into your work whatever you want and already has a script and it will work so anyways as you can see here how it works is that they're going to go ahead and step on it it's going to play a scary sound and it's going to have the jump scare show up on the screen for like a second and it's pretty scary right and then after that happens it'll stop the jump scare and you can't activate it again so it's pretty useful so it only happens once you go ahead and close the script and it'll save you want to go ahead and also insert the sound which is part of the script and then you want to go ahead and find a scary sound which you go ahead and do that also in the creator marketplace and once you find what you want to go ahead and go to more info of that sound go ahead and copy the number in the link of that sound and then go ahead and go back to sound and properties and then paste in the sound id and then change the roll off distance to 50 in the emitter and then also change the volume to whatever you want i'm going to do 0.8 so it's louder and then you want to go ahead and insert a reverb sound effect you don't have to though but that's pretty much how you add the sound and i'm also going to make the pad a little transparent so you can kind of see it still and it's also going to be red that way you know where it is in relic studio but also it's not too visible I also change the size to 101.20 to the image and they're tested and yeah that's pretty scary guys but yeah, that's how you make jump scares in Relic Studio. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you found this helpful. And if you want to learn how to make a house in Roblox Studio, go ahead and watch the video. Turn it up on the screen right now.